everyone. I'm going to do a tutorial today that it's going to be Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, that's it. Um, it's going to be Sucker Punch inspired. Not really Sucker Punch, but more like one of the characters on there, which is what her name's Baby Doll or something? I don't know. I did this look the other day. I really liked it. Kind of looks a little bit like looks that I usually do, but slightly different, just a little bit. One of the main things I like about um, the look of Baby Doll, first of all, I think the actress who plays Baby Doll is absolutely gorgeous. Um, honestly, I think she is just flawless from her eyes to her nose. Her mouth, she's got the hugest lips, which I wish I had, but I'm not going to be able to duplicate it because I'm not that cool. But, um, yeah, I wasn't born with the natural, gorgeous, big mouth, but I'm happy with what I have. Um, so the actor that I'm going to be redoing is Emily Browning. She plays Baby Doll in Sucker Punch. I already said that. Um, I'm just going to start out with a semi-flawless face because of course I can't make myself flawless and this isn't the movie so I can't make everything look perfect but I'm gonna do my best um, I'm gonna start off by covering up the under eyes and covering up whatever else I have to cover up with foundations and such not foundation but concealer I'm just gonna throw this out here and then I'm gonna make this part of the video quick um, I'm going to use three different concealers. I've been using all three of these lately, and I'm in love. Um, you know, I use the Fresh Complexion, which I do under my eyes, but I've also been using this. is from Alme. I've been using this under my eyes. The color is light. It's a gentle cover concealer stick, and actually what I like to do is put the cover girl on there and then just add some of this with it. You'll see I mix it all up. Um, this is also from Cover Girl. This is Invisible Concealer. And I really don't like it around my eyes because it's pretty dry, but I do like to put it on little spots like there and there, which are just little scabs from leftover whatevers. So let's cover that up. Now, one thing that Baby Doll has is huge, huge, thick, fake eyelashes, but I don't have any fake eyelashes, and I haven't learned how to do those yet, so I'm not going to be putting them on today. I'm just going to stick with my regular eyelashes, so you'll just have to bear with me on that. I'm going to be using a couple Coastal Scents palettes today from Beauty Choice. This is the 56 Blush and Eyeshadow palette, and this character has really rosy beautiful cheeks and that's what I want to do her face is just light and flawless and her cheeks are very rosy so you have so much to choose from in this palette not only with eyeshadows but in the blushes as well and I'm really gonna use I'm actually using a mixture of these this is what I did the first time to get this look I'm gonna do a little bit of the second one a little bit of this one a little bit of this one and this one I'm gonna blow it and I'm just gonna put it all up on my cheeks. Can you see it better now? Okay. I want a lot. Next, I'm gonna use the same palette. Actually, I wanna put a little bit of an eye primer on. So let's put a little primer on the lids. Give it a second to dry. Now, I want to completely cover my eyelid in white eyeshadow because that's what hers look like to me. So I'm going to put a lot of white eyeshadow all over, just everywhere. There's two perfect white eyeshadows in this palette and I'm going to use both of them. I'm just digging my brush in both of them and going crazy with it.
I'm also going to bring it like down underneath here just to open up that a little bit. Put it all in here. And I'm starting to look like a little clown. I'm going to put a little chapstick on. Because my mouth is burning for some reason. I don't know why. I don't want it to burn though. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to be putting some black stuff all over my eyes. Because that's what I want to do. Now, nah, but this time I'm not going to put like the black on the waterline. I'm going to do white. I'm just going to put a bunch of white because you know what? Baby doll has these big open eyes. And if I put black on the inside, it's just going to close my eyes in like these little booger bug eyes. And I don't want booger bug eyes today. So, I'm going to just put that white in there all in the waterline. And I'm actually going to pull it out a little further in the lash line. I'm going to make this white all in here connect white eyeshadow. Put all that white because white is supposed to open up your eyes. But I wouldn't recommend like just waking up and yawn yawn. I'm going to open my eyes and put white in there because it'll probably look like hack or something like eye boogies. We don't need that. So anyway, now that we got that done, let me find my little teeny tiny brush. I found my little teeny tiny. And now I'm going to use the black in this palette. And what I'm going to do, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to line right out here and I'm going to just go halfway. I'm not going to go all the way like I always do. Halfway and then bring it down and smudge it out. I want big, open, baby doll eyes. Right now I look like a geisha, but it's okay. Right? What is that? Whatever. Okay, open eyes. Next, I'm going to take, um, actually I'm going to get, uh, 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 I want to do this real quick. Ah, bad habit, but it feels so good. I'm going to get my uh, black eyeshadow out. Actually, I'm going to use two black eyeshadows today. I really like this. It's e.l.f. and it's called Charcoal. I really, really like it. But I'm going to start off with my MAC. And this is Suspicion. And I'm not going to bring it all the way up to my eyebrows. I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to take this little line over here that we made with the, the black on the bottom. Just gonna bring it right there in the crease. Just right there in the crease, no further. Just like that, and then we're gonna smooth it out and make it look pretty. Okay. Wait, you just. You don't have to think, oh, that looks like everything else she does. You just have to think, oh, it looks like Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. Emily Browning. Okay. Okay. Keep it there. Crease. Okay, okay. My eye feels like it's watering, like I'm going to cry. But I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. By the way, you know, this doesn't look exactly like her. This is just my interpretation of her. All right? So if you don't like it, I don't care. Now I'm going to take this liquid liner. I'm going to put a big, thick. Wait a second. I need to brush off this fallout. Put a big, thick. Thick, thick, thick. Very thick. Because I want to do it very thick. Okay. Very thick. On top. And I'm not. I'm only going to bring it, only on the top am I going to bring it all the way down to the inner corner of my eye. Okay.
You don't know how bad I'm dying to stick this on the inside of my eye, but I'm not gonna. But I will put it over here in this corner over here. Me wants more blush. I'm so addicted to blush. Isn't this so cute? The little heart fell out. Oop, and there it was. There's my heart. You can have it. And since I don't know how to do fake lashes, I'm just going to put on a crap load of mascara. And right now I'm using this one. Now, if you ever see what she looks like, she like always wears these little pigtails or whatever. And her hair is super, super blonde. But I need my roots done. I can't afford it, so my hair can't be super blonde right now. And I couldn't find another rubber band, but I found this broken one. So it'll just have to do for now. Um, so you see I did the eyeliner all the way to the inner corners, but not on the bottom. And then I took a black eyeshadow and sweeped it on half. And then I did like, you know, I tried to do as much mascara as I could on my eyelashes without overdoing it, without being too tarantula-ish. I wish I knew how to do fake eyelashes, that would have been probably like a lot easier. And that's pretty much what hers is, is like these huge fake eyelashes. Whoa, there's a tarantula lash right there. Oh well, I don't care. And I put mascara on the bottom. I'm just trying to separate them with this old crusty brush. Um, yeah, so what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, about her lips. I wish, you know... I could only wish that I could have been born with, you know, but unfortunately, I wasn't. Well, you could do this, to do this, and then... <laughs> My name's Baby Doll. <laughs> um, I was going to show you the palette, though. Another palette from Coastal Scents, from BeautyChoice.com. Um, I'm sure if I mixed together these enough, I could figure out her look. And if I had, like, some lip injections and some lip liner, I could pull it off. But this is pretty much my mouth already. So it's already colored, so I figured I wouldn't put anything on there. But, I mean, I guess if you wanted me to, I would. I would probably go more for this color right here and a mixture of this one, unless it would be too light. Let's see what it looks like. Because I don't want like a red because hers just like, hers was just this big, big dark mouth. Yeah, I pulled it out a little there. <laughs> trying to get a big mouth gone on here. So, yeah. <laughs> that was... It's my vivid doll look. Now, if only I could dance. Um, remember, remember all the white. Put some white in there. Get those eyes big and open. If you want to look like baby doll, you've got to have big open eyes. Like a baby doll. I'm really not liking this color. I love my Coastal Scents palette, but I'm not liking this color on me. It just doesn't feel gorgeous. Yeah, so simple as that. Do a little black up in there. Cover your eyes in white. Do some black. Do some big, chunky, funky eyelashes. And then put that white on the inside. And then, like, you know. Yeah, so this is my baby doll. Sucker Punch inspired look. I do hope you like it. Sorry that I couldn't make it more accurate. I have a confession to make. Promise not to tell. There's a price tag on this shirt. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog. Alright, so I got this shirt for Christmas. I haven't wore it yet. It says size medium. I got it for Christmas. I just haven't wore it yet. But I thought it would go, it look like a baby doll. Well, not like a baby baby doll that you would buy your kid and play with. But more like the baby doll in the Sucker Punch. Because she wore a lot of black. Ooh. Put a little more of this under there. 
get that whole pasty look going on. Now, the girl is absolutely gorgeous to me. 